if you have a, a professional monitoring system in a professional room, you don't need to go around and, and listen to your mix in a fucking million places. I mean, you will say, well, no shit. I don't have $30,000 to spend on speakers and 50 on, on a room. Fair enough, you know. But if you do this for a living, you better find those money because otherwise you're, <laughs> you're a scam. If you're, if you're just mixing your stuff in there about, hey, this is what I have to make work because I got no money. Speakers, then you have no other way other than go around and try to listen to your mix to every possible speaker. Is it, is it, is it that uh, an ideal situation? Fuck no. But you, you got to do what you got to do, right? So you go in the car, you, you try on all your friends, you know, phones on the Bluetooth speakers, on the freaking everything. The problem with doing that, the problem with going and, and listen to your mix in, in a gazillion places, it's that first of all, you're going to lose a lot of time. And if you have clients, I highly doubt they will wait for you to be done with your listening in freaking 2000 places. And then uh, wh what are you going to trust, right? Because on your phone, the vocals are going to be, oh my God, vocals, it's like the reverb is too high, right? But on my speakers, it's not. And on my car, it's kind of maybe. But the low end on, on the speaker sounds good and the car sounds like shit. So which one you you trust? Here's the problem. The problem when you don't have a reliable, calibrated listening environment, you are going to guess, Right? Because if you fix it in the car, then it's going to sound bad in the speakers, right? So it will take you probably years. Uh, let's, let's, let's not calculate by time. Let's calculate by mixes. It's going to take you probably a thousand mixes to figure out where's the, the balance, right? Where it's it, between, just an example, your low end is your, your speakers is too high and the car is too low, the other way around, right? And even when you do find a, a middle between the two and it sounds good on both maybe then you you try the third like your friend's car and that sounds all fucked up or the vocal sounds too low right so that's the problem of having too many references and not having one that you can actually trust and you you're not consistent with it if you're consistent with it right you listen to all in your studio but in your studio you don't have a monitoring system that reproduce the really low end or you have a dip a 90 or a boost a 70 or something like that which happens all the time you're gonna waste years and years and years and let's say you want to try to do this for a living right you do all this you work your ass off trying your mix in a million places right and it sounds kind of okay and then your client tests you and test another guy you see what I'm going? You work your ass so much to get a ballpark. And then the other guy, just because he has a better monitoring system and better room, he's going to nail it. And you're, even if you fall short a little bit, the client is going to pick, you know, the one that is better. It doesn't matter how better, how much better it is. You know, it doesn't matter if you, if you win by an inch or a mile. So anyway, I digress. Hands on my neck, hands get my throat, throat. Lift me up, up, man, take control, up Heart is so gone, my type Don't you know I fall for the bad type You play the role of an angel pretty well